What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Debate and Destroy. Your host, as always, Blackout Bill, joined with my co-host, The Fiend from Carrizo Springs. Local JJ. Local JJ. And today we are not doing it a debate. Today we are actually taking five picks, each of us. Eric is joined with us as well. He, he was a guest on some of our early episodes, the Metallica episode. Which other episodes were you on? I'm trying to remember. Man, it's been like three or four. The Black Metal, yeah. the Mastodon, the Black episode, metal. the Black Metal episode. But anyway, today we are all wearing our Megadeth shirts. We got the Megadeth CDs because we are all picking five of our most underrated mega death tracks. Yep. Oh. So we're going to see where we go with this. We each pick 10 tracks, uh, 10 to 15. Yeah. So we won't cross over. And yeah. if someone picks our track that we put in our top 10 or top five, we'll just go with our next pick. So that way we have a range of picks. But sounds good. Yeah. Let's, do Let's it. see how it goes. JJ, you want to start us off with your yeah, top oh, five? Yeah. What's your number we'll, one? We'll all go in order. JJ will pick. Eric will pick. Then I'll pick. So let's see. Sounds good. So your number five pick for most number underrated. Number five. Well, I'm wearing the shirt here, guys. No one really talks about ever, but Washington is next. Dude, the shredding is so it's good. It's amazing. <laughs> dude, Dave is the man, dude. Bro, Washington Just is the, seeing okay, him wait, wait, live wait do second. all wait that stuff up there would be great. Yeah. Dude, he's a wait great a guitarist. Is Washington is next the single? That might be the single. Are you I'm serious? pretty sure it's Sleepwalker. <laughs> Sleepwalker. I thought Washington. Sleepwalker was a single. I don't know. Eric will look it up right now. But if Washington's next year pick, they don't ever play it live anymore. No, they don't. I don't know. They have a ton of it. songs. It's a banger, dude. I fucking love I that like song. The song. Even dude. if it is the single, it's not like it's talked about. I think no, in the no. 2000s era, they have Megadeth, such a huge catalog. Dude. Yeah. No one ever brings it up. Yeah. I think in the 2000s era of Megadeth, it's like one of the Best songs. Yes, dude. It's definitely yeah. top ten, top fifteen. Yeah, they should throw What's, a curveball like, out there. What do you like better, Washington is next or Sleepwalker? I like Washington is next as my really? favorite track off that album. Yeah. Damn, I do really. Like it. Better than Sleepwalker. I do. Better than Sleepwalker. <laughs> Sleepwalker's good though. I do like that song. Damn. For some reason, but... I can't tell what the single was. <laughs> it's I all good. I don't I mean, think it was. I think person. it's still an underrated track, so I can see why you put it in there. I mean, yeah. it, even if it is the single, like I said, I think it doesn't matter. Yeah. I think they could still bust it out live, and I would be happy with it. Yeah, you know dude, I mean? because Dave, dude, he's good on this guitar work there. Oh, yeah. That's great And that's there. Glenn, Glenn Drover. He's yeah. great, too. Him For and Sean sure. do a good job on that, that album. I even really like the production on that song. Yeah. I am well. the king, an <laughs> evil king who dreamed the wickedest of dreams. I don't know, man. <laughs> Eric's always hated that chorus, man. Yeah, dude. He's always uh, hated it's not, it. It's I not, like it, man. This is I, not I'm a, a favorite of mine, but... Um, that's fine. You're Dang. entitled to your own opinion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eric, what's your number five? It, it, I just looked at it. It is the most played song live from United Abominations. So. Whoa. I don't, yeah, I don't, anyway. <laughs> we'll let the crowd decide on we'll that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eric, what's your number five? So my first pick is going to be The Killing Road. Oh! oh no. Dude. Yeah, that's a good one. Great riffing. Yeah. Euthanasia, such an underrated album in terms of Dave's vocals, and he kills it on this song. I yeah. love the vocals. <laughs> And the Marty solo, yeah. Stop it, dude. Well, this is one of Marty's best solos. That is a killer. So it's such a great solo. I love solo. the chorus. I lost my yeah. mind, lost all my money. That's a banger. If they play that, that's dude, a banger. Yeah. I would love to see that shit. They don't play it live very often. It's such a good song. Oh, I know. That's a great one. That I'm glad you chose that album. one because I, I was thinking love this song. Off Euthanasia, that's one of my favorite songs. It's yes. up there. There's some yes. great ones, but that's an awesome B side. <laughs> yes, it's a great B side. Better than Blood of Heroes. Better than yes. Family Tree. Better yep. than. Oh yeah. I think it's better than Victory. I like yes, Victory. It's better than Victory. But I like little, Victory, but the lyrics are bad. They're a little corny. <laughs> they're a little corny. Especially that they have so many albums afterwards. Yeah. So all the Marty or, solos, this is right up there for me in terms of all the solos. I love this solo. It's up there, you know, obviously Tornado, some other ones, and yeah. this one's right up there too. Dang. Yeah, man. So that's, that's my up. first one. That's a, that's a bang. So my number five, guys, I'm going with album number one, dude. Skull yes. beneath the yes. skin. Yes. Of course. It's so Banging, dude. dude. Fucking so banging. Okay, awesome. the opening... Cr okay, by the way, let me just talk about this. <laughs> not the remastered version. Do not listen to the remastered <laughs> version of the song. I'm talking about the OG horrible album cover, not the one I have right there. From Chris Poland or whoever Dave's doing that opening guitar stuff into the amazing solo, but there's one reason I love this fucking song, dude. Even though the production's not that good, Gar Samuelson's drumming yep. shuts it the fuck down, and the lyrics are about Vic. So That's boom, cool. bust this song out That's live. It's a banger. Is that, is that last riff when he does the skull beneath this? Oh. Is that not like a death metal riff? It's amazing. That shit is so Dude, fucking heavy. There's awesome. so many riffs in that song. It's a fucking, I don't know why no one talks about it. Because I, like we, 
I think Rattlehead gets. We've seen Rattlehead. Yes. Yeah, right. It gets and much play, more love. And yeah. mechanics yeah. because of Four Horsemen. Yeah, everybody knows mechanics. This shit's way better. I know. I like it better personally. It's way fucking awesome. Better, and Love yeah. Riot's last Love to Death or whatever is awesome too. But was this right. one on your list too? I'm just curious. It was. It was this a, one was on yeah, my fucking on my list. list too. Oh, it's really? Banger, it's a dude. banger. Okay, number four, JJ, what you got? Number four, I'm going My Last Words from Peace yeah, Cells, dude. dude that my song Last Words? Yeah, dude, I have that on my list too. Ass, dude. It's that amazing. I think that's Dave's best solo. Personally, what? That's, that's my opinion. I love the song. The riffing's awesome, dude. The whole song is it's a thrasher. It's I great. think it's probably out of all the Megadeth catalog, it's my favorite ending to the album. Right. Out of the entire yeah, Megadeth that's a good catalog. ender, dude. And I'll yes. tell you, these are all my CDs. I'm a Megadeth fanboy. <laughs> <laughs> but my last word is better than Rust in Peace Polaris. Yes. It's, yes. it's better yes. than, I don't remember the last song off Youth in Asia. I think it's Victory. Yeah, it's victory, victory is the last one. It's Victory. Yeah. It's better than Ashes in Your Mouth, which is still a fucking awesome Ashes song. Ashes in Your Mouth is pretty good. That's though. pretty good. No, but I like, yeah. Ma- I like my last words. And yeah. the bass, dude. Oh, oh, bass is my killer. God, yes. love, one of Elfson's best bass performance. One of Elfson's besides best Bad bass Omen on that album. Yes. Yeah. I love Bad Omen too. So great pick, dude. Yeah. Yes. Great pick. Eric, what are you going number four? For number four, I'm going uh, New School. And um, I'm going with Kick the Chair, man. Kick the oh, Chair. Kick the chair. Oh. What a banger. And the reason I know now it's become like a live, they do play it a lot live. Yeah. But this song, for everybody out, this is the best Megadeth song post 2000. What? It, it's yeah. the best Megadeth song. I, I, it's think, so. yeah. I think so too. Incredible. You it know what? The riffing is incredible. The, that chorus riff, that verse riff, it goes to a, like a solo section in the song. Awesome. Dude, it's fucking the great. Dual solos you are know great. what my only problem with this song is? What? what? It's too short, it's too dude. <laughs> keep playing that shit. It's That's amazing. why I like it. It's short and concise yes, to the dude, point. Dude, it's to the, the point. I love the lyrics, dude. Yes. I love yeah. the lyrics. And great. The lyrics are awesome. Yeah. Dave does a fucking. Awesome time. This is an underrated song. Yeah. That was top on my list, dude. Yeah, it I was, think. Dude. Yeah, it's so. I think good. the system has failed as an underrated album, in in, in, to, in its yes. totality. There's some great songs on there. All right, guys, I'm gonna go with my number four. I'm going to Cryptic Writings, dude. Ooh. Oh, the Disintegrators is one of Dave's oh. best vocal. <laughs> for fo- no, 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 no. The good production, of the guitars <laughs> drives me crazy. I don't think it's like the best guitar-driven song. I do yeah. like the riffs, but it's one of my favorite Dave's vocal performance. Like his performance on there vocally is amazing. There are He's some so yeah. high. The fly eyes are alive and the steel. <laughs> Trouble is coming, bro. Hell on yeah, two dude. wheels. I love that song. It's a fucking banger. And on Cryptic Writings, I think it's for sure the best song. I don't know why people talk about She Wolf. Get She Wolf out of here, dude. <laughs> she Wolf made the disintegrator- that bad, dude, trust is pretty awesome. <laughs> Fuck trust, dude. The disintegrators <laughs> is the bomb. Yeah, disintegrators it's a good song. I do all like the way, it. dude. Banger. That's banger. Awesome. Great vocal take. Oh, All right, JJ, hit man. us with number three. What's your number, number three? Number three is Set the World Afire from So What. Oh, so, so far, so good. So what? So far, so good. So what? Yeah. Interesting. I like that intro, and it just starts riffage. Yeah. And then, like, it takes Great like a minute song, and a half album. just to get to his voice, dude. I, I, dude, the instruments on that. I've um, always loved that. Uh, the, like you said, the intro part. Yeah. Especially, I think they played on that Buenos Aires when they play in yes, Argentina. They do. Yes, and it's so <laughs> fucking good. Like, dude, I want to see that shit. The shredding's Banger. so good, dude. That's why I love Megadeth. I love their technical abilities, dude. Yes. They're incredible. Yeah, my yeah. only problem with that album is I don't like... He was only on that album. The guitarist of that album is, isn't my favorite. No. Yeah, especially on like... A, oh, yeah, no, he's... But I like this what's, album What's the big one on there? Not the album. The album itself, you're not a big fan of? No, no, that what? one song, the one they There's always play. In my time here. of need, his his yeah. solo, not my. I think that takes away from that song. Hmm. Imagine Marty on that song. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I mean, come on, come on. Even fucking Chris Poland would have killed it. But Chris I love Poland the song about Chris Poland. I almost thought about putting Liar. Yes. I love Liar. <laughs> liar. Anyway, yes. Eric, go with your number three. What's your number three? Okay, this one's a little bit out there, but um. I'm going to go with uh, How the Story Ends, which is on Endgame. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so this is a yeah. little bit of a deep cut. That's a very deep ball. cut. Yeah. But um, Endgame is, you know, the first tour that we ever went to. I got the shirt on. Yeah. So it's got the, the first tour, so I'm very partial to this album. And I love this song. It has a great verse riff. The chorus riff is okay, but everybody out there gets to the solo section. It gets like a nice little acoustic solo. And this is Chris Broderick's best solo in the band. Because you, t- if you like Endgame, Endgame is what? a sh- Endgame is a shred fest. It is a shred. It's fest. It's a shred yeah, fest. Dude. I mean, it opens but you start with to get like, like, dude, too much shredding. This solo is melodic, but it also builds to the to his classic S- sweep all over the place. Yeah, yeah I think it's one of Broderick's awesome. best solos, and I just I love it. And right after the solo, it gets into a breakdown. It's just 
It's a really great song. Yeah, I haven't heard that one in a long time, dude. It's That's a really a great song. B-side on that one. It's yeah. a deep cut, but I really love this song. It's a great <laughs> song. All right, guys, I'm gonna go with my number three. I'm going to Euthanasia too, dude. Black fucking curtain, oh, dude. Is the dude, B-side to is end all B-sides. That's that that so first awesome. riff, dude. God, dude. Guys, I think the B-sides on Euthanasia are better than the A-sides. <laughs> I don't know about. I don't know about that, dude. I think with Family Tree, Black Curtains, Victory, and the one you picked, Killing Road. I think that's better than Day of Reckoning, oh, Train of Consequences. Oh, that's t- dude, I haven't, Black Curtain has been a while, man. But that Black Curtain is coming back to oh, me. It's, dude, dude, never that's ending. All, and, and the verse riff yes. is amazing. And Dave's vocal amazing. kills it. Yeah. That song is fucking amazing. That awesome. is pretty awesome. So, f- like, fucking start to finish is a great song. All right, JJ, uh, hit us with your number two. Number two, you brought it up. But I'm going with the under, like, truly underrated. They don't get enough love. Ashes in your mouth, dude. Okay. Song, Ashes in your mouth's a banger. That, that first riff is so good, and they bring it back at the end, and then it gets fast in the middle. Yes. Dude, it's I love that song. You know I'm what a I always thought? Fan of it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I always thought about that song? It's like the first guitar like solo part. Uh-huh. It sounds like "Fly to the Bumblebee," like that, like that <laughs> b- yeah. big band song. Yeah. I don't know why, but every time I hear that transition part, I'm like, "Is that Fly to the fucking Bumblebee?" <laughs> I'm not too sure. Go dude. look it up, guys. Influence, really do, we, influence, influence hard. right there. Yeah, we do got to look that. Got to look that. But I do love that. There's just riff after riff. Nonstop, it's dude. It's one thing that we found out. <laughs> dude, the sweet taste of vindication that turns yes, to ashes dude. in your mouth. Love it. Banger. Mm-hmm. Eric, what are you going with number two? Okay. Number, number two. Number My next pick, um, <laughs> this is another kind of random one, but I really love this song. Off of Countdown, I'm going with High Speed Dirt. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Dirt, I love this song. Wow. It's just fun vibes. Yes. Um, yeah. Marty's clean solo at the end. Yes, dude. Awesome. And then the, oh, that's being done. Yeah, dude. And they have a great um, dual solo in the yeah. middle, uh, Dave and Marty, and it's a great solo. It's fun riffing. Yeah, I just love the song. It's just nice. Do you cool song. think that High Speed Dirt can be compared with Skin on My Teeth? Do you think they're close? And do you think? Do you think? Because oh. I think High Speed Dirt could be just as good as Skin on My Teeth. Oh man, that's personally. I'd have to really skin my teeth. To I love I, high speed dirt. I love high speed dirt, man. But I gotta listen to them back to back to find to yeah, make that right? decision. That's, but that's I'm that's thinking they're really one. close because they're kind of similar. I don't know. I'd have to really listen to that again. Yeah. Damn. Mm. All right. So for my number two, guys, this is a weird one, oh. but I've never heard anyone talk about it. It's a B side on United Abominations. Which Play one? for Blood, dude. Oh. <laughs> that song is banging. <laughs> it is a banger. That's dude. my favorite song on you. Yes. I think it's uh. better than Sleepwalker. Whoa. I think it's better than Washington is next. Dang, that's your favorite album, huh? The riffs album, huh? are wow. killer. The only part I really could say that's not that good is there's one chorus that isn't my favorite where yeah. he says play too many times, but the fucking riffs just keep going and going, and the solos between him and, and Drover are fucking amazing. Yeah. I, I, dude, if they busted that song live, I'd be fucking dan 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 banger, dude. dude. Bet you didn't think I was going to throw that one out there. I don't even remember. <laughs> I got to be honest. I don't remember that song. It's a good uh, one. Dude. I, I hear a lot song. about Burnt Ice and, and uh, Burnt Black Ice is kind of Ice is okay. People kind of really weak. like Burnt Ice, dude. I think Play for Blood's way mm-hmm. better. Mm-hmm. That's one really cool part in Burnt Ice. Yeah. It's and then uh, solo part. Black Swan's pretty cool, too, though. That's a good song. Yeah. But I'm going to I'm gonna take Play for Blood. Nice. Okay. Nice. All right, JJ, your number one number most one. over underrated Megadeth song. I want to hear it because I really like it. The lyrics to me are like a true horror story. It's a Last Rites to Death, dude. Last Rites Love to Death? It's so crazy, Does dude. it not sound like after the piano intro <laughs> when you get the, 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 like, when he goes in that riff? Yeah. Once again, that is speed metal heaven. <laughs> dude, that is seriously. amazing. <laughs> And it then is. Dave just snorts a fat line of coke and dude, goes. He, he was awesome. <laughs> he is hardcore in that, dude. It's a great song, man. Songs of it. What, what, do, you, okay. what do you think about that laughing part? I like it. I it, it goes with the the, the theme, theme of the lyrical theme. Yeah, yeah. And I love that. in hell, man. It's yes. crazy. That it's shit crazy. is Circle Pit City. <laughs> I would love to see him bust that shit out. Yes, I, that's the one song I think if they were touring off the Peace Cells era. That I would love to see them play because it would just be fucking be nuts, crazy. Dude. That song is so fast. <laughs> how is. do you play that and sing at the same time? <laughs> I don't know. No how one he does it, man. He's the man. <laughs> All right, Eric, your yeah. number one most underrated Megadeth song. This isn't my number one, but because there's a lot of the ones that I've already been saying. But another one that I really do love, yeah, is uh, "Back in the Day" off Ooh. of the System oh, is Failed. Classic. Um, it's a great song. It's an Iron Maiden ripoff. <laughs> of in, which? which I one? don't remember. Oh, 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 uh, the one off of Dan Flash of the Blade. 
Is it is Slash it? of the Blade? It's just faster. It's sounds... those same three notes. Oh, that's I don't funny. care. This is still a fucking awesome song. Yeah. Um, I love the song when it builds um, to the middle section. Yeah. And they do like a little solo. And then it goes to this like really cool triplet riff. Yeah. And uh, Dave does like this really cool vocal. Oh, oh I love that It's part. just cool. He never does that kind of shit. So his, I really love that. His voice sounds awesome on that track. Yes. Back in the day. Yes, he does. Dude. I love this It song. doesn't matter. Yes. I love this song. Famously featured on Duck Dodgers, the cartoon. Yes, absolutely. Oh, really? And he comes out in it. I did not know that. (laughs) Well, look it up, dude. Dave's a cartoon. He's just like slaying aliens. (laughs) What? It's so random, dude. It's pretty banging. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, So I'm going with my number one most underrated Megadeth song. I swear to God. (laughs) <laughs> I do not see this song get enough love. Lucretia is easily the most underrated Megadeth song. Amazing Why song. the fuck, Dave, is this not a staple <laughs> in the set? I know it gets the lost. The only thing I can think of is the lyrics suck. Yes, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Musically, that it's song, Musically, it's amazing. It's up there. I know it gets lost in the shadow of Tornado, Holy Wars, Hangar 18, but I'm going to say it right here and right now. Oh, my God. It's a better song than Hangar 18. No, I don't think so, dude. Take that, bitch. I can't. I I don't think so. Unless you... Okay, I love the guitar playing in Hangar 18, but I think just a song, like if I'm not just trying to hear like a jerk-off fest of how good we are at guitar, dude, Lucretia's fucking amazing. The riffs are butter. Lucretia's a jerk-off song, too. No, it's not, dude. Those solos fit Perfectly, <laughs> one of my favorite Dave fucking solos. Oh my Play that God. one. We saw it on the Rest in Peace anniversary tour, and people are going to get beers. I almost lost my <laughs> this mice. It was a disgrace because that song is so fucking wow. good. But yeah, I'm going with Lucretia. I get hot. I wonder if people will think <sighs> if that's their worst song on that album. I it's wonder. definitely not, dude. No. Poison no, the no, Cure. No, like what people think, like in general. Oh, I don't know. I think yeah. either I think Poison the Cure is the worst song of that album, but it's still a yeah. banger. I mean, it's a great song. I mean, there's no bad songs, but if you would rank them, you know, I yeah. feel like that's. I think it's very underrated. I agree with you on that. It is a very. Yeah. I love that song. A couple other ones. Party I my... solo there is just. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. insane. Amazing. Just fucking a couple shout outs. Dialect to chaos and to this day we yes. fight. Fucking amazing. fucking amazing. Oh yes. Uh, looking down the cross. I'm a big fan. I think it gets lost in the wake too. I don't know if you guys have any other you want to mention, but for me, dude, it's Lucretia. Get more love for Lucretia yeah, out there. Going back to put Endgame. it in the set. Yes. Every fucking time it should be in the set. <laughs> One uh, of the best Megadeth songs. Going back to Endgame, I, I'm a fan of Head Crusher, dude. Yeah, dude. I'm a huge fan yeah. of that one, dude. Head Crusher. Any more yeah. you want to mention? Shout outs? Any shout outs? Um, Architecture of Aggression is pretty bang. Oh, I was about to put that in mind. Architecture <laughs> of Aggression is pretty Aggression. awesome. Bad Omen. Ooh. I like Vortex, dude. Vortex? <laughs> <laughs> oh, off of Cryptic Writings, right? Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's a pretty good song, actually. The vocals actually. are awesome. Yeah. I think uh, his vocals are great on that album. Yeah, man. But anyway, that's our top 15 here. If you guys agree or disagree, let us know in the comments. What are your top 15 underrated Megadeth songs? Which ones do they put in the set? For me, you heard it here. It's fucking Lucretia. Put that (laughs) shit in the set, please, God. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Take it easy, brothers. See you guys.